Hey Ryan, are you ready on set? Welcome to Pure Octane Garage, where we bring you detailing information and other automotive goodness. That's right, so please like, subscribe, ring the notification bell, tell your friends, sharing is caring, and, and guess, else? we've got merch. Yes, merch is listed in the description below, and uh, pick it up so you can look good. Do you, you think we look good, right? Yeah. Be nice. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, lots of cool stuff for you to check out, and uh, Ryan, it helps us out, right? It does. It helps the channel so we can buy and review products. Yeah. So anyways, on to today. Um, we've got uh, one of our, it's a, it's a tip day. It's a tip day. It's a pro tip day. Pro tip day. Thank you. Um, we're going to pro tip some uh, tires and wheels, right? That's right. We're just going to show you our process of cleaning the wheel and tire. Wheel and tire? Just yes. one? No, no, no wheel and tires of your vehicle and, and addressing those tires and right? making them look good that's the like final touch yeah and i think what instigated us to do this whole review is this guy right here right yes our most favorite tire applicator ever <laughs> and i don't most favorite whatever you know i'm talking funny, yeah but. check this thing out it's you know you got this waffle here you kind of have this ridge here where your fingers go in and you'll get product grip. all over yeah your your hands so. um but uh we've used many applicators tire dressing applicators over the years. This is definitely the best one. Yeah, we don't have any of the other ones that we've used, but and foam blocks are okay. Yep. Um, and then we had the foam blocks that have a plastic guard on them, which were very hard to use. And yeah. some of them crumble and fall okay. apart. This has held up pretty good. And it's been over some rough, yeah. pretty, pretty rough tires and raised letters and knobby tires. So it's held up well and uh, really, really like that. So you can pick those up. Um, maybe we'll get some pure octane ones of those at some point. That would be awesome. Merch. Merch. <laughs> Don't forget, we've got merch available. Oh yeah, that's right. All right, Ryan, what products are we going to use today? We're going to start with the Adams Polishes Tire and Rubber Cleaner. Okay, so that's going to get our tires looking good, right? You made a comment, though, about this. Tire and rubber. <laughs> yeah. Aren't it's tires a little redundant. made of rubber? Yes. <laughs> Anyways, this is a good tire and rubber cleaner. We really like it. And then for the wheels, we're going with the Eco Wheel Cleaner today. Um, okay. If you're, if you're not sure... Um, how your wheels are, you know, painted, are they clear coated, are they this, are they that? There's a lot of different ways wheels, yeah. some are uncoated. Um, always best to go with something eco. Um, well, and they don't always say eco, but there's acidic wheel cleaners and stuff you have to be careful with, um, you know, the different um, levels. But read instructions carefully on wheel cleaners. Yeah. You don't want to spot and stain wheels. I've seen some terrible nightmares of that happening with yeah. uh, certain things. So we're going to use the eco wheel cleaner today. Safe, better safe than sorry. And then what are our dressings? We have the uh, Adams Polishes Tire Shine, which is, you know, a good product. I mean, easy to use. Yeah. And the reason we have both of these out here, this is the Hydrocylix Slick. We got a spray, and we just want to show you guys a spray versus a gel. Yep. When a, more of a liquidy gel. So, uh, um, personally, my favorite out of these two is this one. Um, I like just how the gels go on better, but we're going to show you both so you can, you know, see the difference of what you'll encounter versus the two. This one has a little bit of, it dyes your tire a little black. Ah, it deepens cool. that. Yeah, I think it black. says that. Yeah, um, eh, I, said that, I think it might be on their website. Hydrocylix tends to have a lot more information on their website yeah. with that kind of information than on their bottles, but I promise that's on their website. So. And, and to be honest, it did come out, we, we did a four-in-one tire dressing yes, challenge while back. video. <laughs> uh, link in the description. These two were in there. Yeah. And there were two and others. These, these were in there. Um, again, great products. They but all this, did well. This one we felt came out on top. I agree. I think it lasted the longest. I've, this is a very large bottle of this, and uh, it goes far. I mean, I think you can't tell right now, but I think we still have two-thirds of this bottle, and I've been using this for almost a year. Yeah, it's... Over uh, a year, actually. That's a lot, so, of, a lot of product. So, but, anyways, uh, I say at this point, we've kind of covered everything. We'll talk about using it out there. Yeah. Let's get to some... Head on over to the dirty wheel and tire. Tire and rubber. Tire area. and rubber and wheel. Okay, so we made it outside, Ryan. Yeah. <laughs> and we're going to try to make... Try to, if we know what we're doing. Make this wheel look pretty, right? We're going to... I think we know it. what we're doing. 
and then dress it. <laughs> yep, so we're gonna show you what we like to use. So first step of anything we like to do is a good rinse, right? Yeah, I like to get all the loose dirt off first. Yeah, let's knock that off and then we'll use the chemicals. So, yep. so I'm gonna I got... step out of the way while you rinse. Yeah, <laughs> you don't wanna get wet? Wow. All right, so we've got the good rinse on there. And now it's nice and wet here for us to kneel in, right? Yeah. All right, so tire and rubber cleaner, which we said tires are rubber. So you want to spray, cool. spray that on the tire there, which cleaned up quite a bit from just a rinse. But let's see. Sure did. My favorite feature of this stuff is what we'll see here. Once it starts dwelling for a little bit, it turns brown. You know it's working. Um, so we should see some nasty brownness down here eventually. And then while that's dwelling, I'm going to go ahead and hit the wheels with a little of the Eco Wheel Cleaner. So we'll just do the little overspray here and there. It's not going to hurt anything of the two products. So we got that on there. And then another thing we like to do while I put my face in the camera there is uh, we always like to have a soapy bucket nearby because we even give these still a little soapy rinse after this. Don't have to do that, just something we like to do. Yeah, and real quick too, um, the, the Adams Polishes Eco Wheel Cleaner, I like the fact that it's pretty gentle on most wheels. But like right. Brandon said earlier, you know, just make sure you read the instructions first. Definitely. Important. And, uh, you know, even test a little area if you're not sure. Let's see, let's see. So we're going to get these. We've got a nice scrubbing brush here. Get these tired to scrub. We definitely have some wow. dirt. Look yeah. at that. Returning all that uh, white. Nasty. I'll give you the other side. And there's a little browning in there. You can see the, the chemicals turning brown. And while you do that, hey, I'll hit this side of the wheel. Good tool we like to use on the wheels. There's the wheel woolies, or we have the woolly wormit here. So you can get into the barrels. Try to clean those up. All right, give it a rinse. Let's see if we uh, got that clean. Better dry off this wheel. Dry it <laughs> up. Ooh, shiny. And another good thing to use is uh, you can use compressed air. Um, blow out your uh, lug nut, the water that sits on the lug yeah, nut. Yeah, sometimes the uh, center caps or around the valve, valve stem, stems, water yeah. will sit around that. And it can help you blow out in the barrels and exactly. whatnot. Exactly, um, yeah, we'll just get those. We're just going to kind of hand dry them for now, but yeah, it's a good tip to help you out. Yep. That's, the wheel is nice and dry. You want to hit that. Let's see. Ah, better. There. Well, we'll yeah, we'll just, just do it. Let's, actually, kinda, let's see. Kind of speed up the process. A little bit. Well, a little it's bit, a lot but better. But I mean, these tires are about two years old, so. And they actually sit outside, right? And it's outside so, all the time in the sun. Yeah. Here. So they they get they get a little more sun attention. Than yeah, a lot of a lot of UV. In your garage vehicles. So we have a couple different tire dressings here. We have Adams Polishes Tire Shine, which is done with a spray application here, and you can spray it onto the actual applicator, or you can spray the whole tire. The only downside to that is, is you're gonna get overspray and you're gonna to wanna to come back in with a clean microfiber and wipe your wipe the excess tire shine off the rim itself, off the wheel itself. Um, but we're actually gonna use Hydrosilex Slick, which it doesn't have a sprayer, and you apply it directly to the applicator and then apply to the, the tire. And with this, with this really cool applicator, it's pretty precise. You can get right up to your, your wheel without hitting it. So you're gonna get less product on the wheel itself. You can even manipulate it a little bit with your thumb down on the applicator, you know, if you need to. Yeah, you can uh, kind of squeeze and... I don't know, you probably can't see that from here, but you can kind of get right along there. So that's the product we're gonna go with today. So come on in closer and you'll see what it looks like. Apply this to the pad here. Kind of like you do polishing. A couple dots. Yeah, it does it's smell good. Squiggle. It's got a nice. That's a large shape. amount to start with, but once you get, it's kind of priming this thing, you know. 
So let's go ahead and uh, put this on here. And just wipe it on, that easy. And you might need to redress your pad. You know, this is, the tire's gonna take a little bit more. Once you get started here, you will obviously will hold more product in the pad as you move along. Okay, so um, obviously, so we just uh, applied it to the entire tire, um, the hydrostylic slick. As you can see, there's not not any overage of product put onto the, the wheel. And even if you do miss, you can just wipe it off, like we said before. Um, you know, with the spray, it'd be the same thing. You just wipe it off quickly. These things are not do not generally stain wheels. I've never run into that, um, any problem with that. But uh, yeah, a nice good coating, and then you kind of let that dry, and you don't want to dry for about a half an hour. Uh, you need to let the, this product dry, and most of the products will tell you how long they need to sit. But that'll dry, and a uh, nice, beautiful black tire. All right, so we finished applying. As you can see, very easy process. Um, and we've got a nice looking uh, satiny tire there. And it is kind of nice to do the applicator method because Really, there's there's no cleanup afterwards. Yeah, nice and clean on the, the edge the, of the The rim here. has no shine product on it or tire dressing product on it, I should say. Yeah, you don't want to tire dress your ribs. And, and, and speaking of shine, this is a nice, more of a satin look instead of that glossy, wet look. Yeah, and I think um, they, and I think in this situation, if you want a glossier look, you can apply a second coat or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah it would be a, an additional coat. Preference. Um, our general preference is more of the satin, just a nice, deep black yeah. look to the tire. Um, but yeah, as you see, pro tip, for everybody, grab you some of these. I, I we can't recommend them enough. Yep, it's a happy accident. I think I ordered this came with the tire shine from uh, Adams as a little mm -hmm. thing. I'm like, hey, what the heck? Let's try that. And then I'm like, wow, happy accident. I really like it. So, it is a really good. Uh, I don't know why applicator. I never thought of that. I've actually used like the old microfiber applicators before, but it just doesn't have this nice grip on it, you know? Yeah, I mean, I've even rolled up precise. old microfiber cloths and. Yeah. Use those to kind of knock down the tire dressing products in the past. Um, but anyways, so really those are the two kind of products I've seen for tire dressing: your gels and your sprays, right? Yep. So, um, just depends on what you like. But there you go. Quick little pro tip. Hope you like what you saw. Appreciate you watching. Please like, subscribe, ring the bell, and uh, like we always say, please share with your friends. Yeah. And until next time. We're done. I'm gonna do it. You ready? <laughs> I'm gonna wipe my nose with tire shine. <laughs>